Hello and welcome to next uh, learning session. So in this session we are going to learn how to select dynamic checkbox by using Selenium Web Driver. So in the previous video we have seen how to select dynamic radio button. So today we are going to see dynamic uh, checkbox. So basically checkbox, uh, radio button and uh, select a uh, drop down. Everything comes under group element, right? So everything will come under uh, uh, as a group elements one by one. So let us see uh, today using Amazon.in. So when you are, you are searching something, for example, uh, show for men. Uh, so we will get options, uh, whatever uh, related to search. But if you see in the left hand side, uh, so we, we have seen multiple uh, checkboxes, right? So under Amazon Prime, we can see one checkbox as Prime. So and uh, delivery day. So it can be by, uh, get it by tomorrow or get it in two days. So these are the different uh, checkboxes that we can see. Right? So these uh, checkboxes will appear dynamically based on the availability of the products in the Amazon.com. Right? So today we are going to see uh, how can we select any uh, checkbox in, the, in this page based on the text what we give. So it is like dynamic uh, if you are passing your text it has to select your checkbox. So any text on this particular page, if you pass any text on this page, it has to select your checkbox, right? So we are going to see today how can we do this. And finally, we are going to see one reusable method uh, so that if you pass any display text on this particular page, it has to select your checkbox, right? So let's get started uh, with Amazon. Let's check this web uh, URL and let us paste it here so i have already created a class with dynamic checkbox and a driver initialized with chrome driver and maximizing with implicit beta uh, 10 seconds right so let us launch this website amazon.in once this is done uh, let us inspect this in search box we have to uh, enter the text using some of the ID so guys we can uh, uh, take any uh, attribute or export or ID uh, here ID let us take uh, what is the value of this whether we have the multiple options or not so we have only one so we can directly take this as the ID uh, to uh, find this element so driver dot find element by ID so directly we can take ID because it's unique in Amazon and what we wanted to do on this uh, this particular input text is I wanted to type shoes for men so this is the text I wanted to type and then finally I wanted to press enter so for that what uh, Selenium provides it provides send keys method so over here we can send our uh, text shoes for men after entering the text i want to send press enter key so for that what in selene and send keys method itself we can see multiple uh, parameters so this one i have already uh, covered in my previous video so character sequence how can you send multiple parameters so you can watch that video if you are not hi having any idea on this so we can send multiple parameters to send keys method so it has character sequence if you see if you see the definitions right so it is like we can take the keys method for a keys uh, enum and we can press enter so this is the keys we wanted to send so this will be giving like it is a character sequence keys to send so we can uh, send any number of arguments if, we, if it has that dot 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 right so i have already uh, covered this video actually if you want to get some parity you can watch that video right so what this will do uh, now it will launch your uh, amazon website and on this particular input text box it is typing this shoes for men uh, string or character sequence and then finally that it it will press the enter key right so after that what i wanted to do is so i wanted to click on this get it by tomorrow and any of the input checkbox right so let it, let us take this as example let's find the xpath for this 
so it is generated using a uh, li tag right so let's take this as li tag itself so in li tag we can see that text as uh get it by tomorrow the same text we can see and the same for uh, other checkbox as well we can see the same uh, text is coming as under attribute area label let us see if it has the same for other elements as well so area label has all the display text so we can take this um it has a li tag uh, so we can find it using this let's take this text complete one and this is occurring under light tag and we are going to take the area label attribute so we have to give at the rate and give it in single quotes then give it in the single quotes like this right so it is exactly finding that particular path and under this we wanted to take this input tag so listen guys so, so here uh, we can see multiple siblings for this input tag so we we are not sure uh, which a web element will coming in front of this uh, element what happens sometimes some element will go behind and some element will come to forward so it is like uh, in sequence one by one it will be uh, occurring like a queue how uh, we will stand the same way so whatever it is in the front right in the queue that one will receive the click operation so what we will do we'll try with the input tag uh, and find if it is clicking otherwise we will get um, uh, intercepted um, exception if that is the case we will change it to what is there in the uh, front element so we will get in the uh, element exception itself which element will receive this what are the particular action that user is performing using selenium right so uh, accordingly we will change that if we will get the exception because we have multiple siblings so sometimes uh, when we automating any test cases we will we will get this uh, exception right some other element is receiving that uh, click operations so that exception will come so it will sh it will it will give you that which element is receiving and what element we are trying to click so in that case right we can analyze and we can change accordingly all right so as of now we'll take this and we'll try with uh, this as well whether this export is working or not this is receiving yeah so this is also receiving so this export will uh, work perfectly fine it's all about how we are uh, framing our export uh, to make the dynamic web element uh, uh, operations so let us take this so here what i wanted to do uh, find element by export so this is the export we are, going, we are trying so let us save this in our own web element so that we can give get multiple operations of that particular web element this is going to be a input tag so we have got this input tag and what we wanted to what we are trying to do is let us try um whether this particular uh, checkbox is already selected or not because once we are clicking on this right uh, so there is no uh, chance that we, we can verify this right whether it's already selected or not and if you are clicking on already selected it will deselect this so this is the problem with checkbox so what uh, we can do right uh, selenium provides is selected method so using this method we can uh, check whether this particular uh, checkbox is enabled or disabled right so this will return boolean value uh, let's put in here so if it is not already selected this will uh, give you false so what we have to do we have to check uh, whether this is returning the false or not if it is a not selected then what i wanted to do i want to click on this input element dot click so make sure guys uh, so uh, click method will be used for multiple uh, user actions simulation the first one will be like um, clicking on the buttons and second one will be clicking on any links on the web element and third one would be like a radio button clicking or selecting the checkbox so these are the uh, different uh, web element that we can use our click method so in, in such cases right so check, checkbox also will receive click operations so we can simulate using click method itself so what will happen so this will 
select your uh, checkbox using the click method so so to select your uh, checkbox also we have to use the click method itself right so based on the based on the uh, user input right so once this is selected let's wait for uh, some time to see what happens let's wait for four seconds so once this is uh, giving i think we'll wait over here also because this takes some time so this is not ideally recommended one to use as the dot sleep because this halts your script for these many milliseconds right so we will be co covering the how to use our explicit and implicit wait and fluent wait in the upcoming videos so right now let's use the sleep method itself and finally it will close the driver so here uh, let us print whether this is already selected or not whether it's true or false once this is selected page will get refreshed uh, so after that how we can get it uh, we can take this particular web element again we have to find so why this is uh, we are doing uh, because uh, once we click on this right uh, it, uh, let's closely watch this uh, when when we are now the page is uh, now we are displaying so once you click on the moment you click on this particular checkbox the page will get refreshed so what will happen once the page is getting refreshed whatever we have already found this web element right so this will become a stale so when again if you are trying to do any operation that same uh, web element we will end up with stale element refresh exception so in that case what will happen once the page is getting refreshed so again we have to find the same web element so that's the ideal way that we should do so that's what i am also doing over here let's try is selected method this is is selected let us try it so this is to check whether it is under, uh, enabled or not before or after what is the user actions done <laughs> let's try the same way so here uh, this will print before user action and this will print after user action right let us try now so here we are uh, giving input tag so my ideal way is uh, we have multiple siblings for this input tag so we may receive uh, exception because we have three different uh, siblings for this input right? let's try anyway if we are getting exception we will try with other web element it has to uh, type shoes for me and uh, press enter and it has to click on this if it is not click we let's see what it is getting yeah it's closed but we have got exception here uh, it went until here and in the line number 29 we are receiving exception because yeah so we have received element click intercepted exception why which element is intercepted we are trying to click on input element and is not clickable at the point but other element which element is raising this click operation is that is also it is giving the exception this is the beauty of the selenium so other element would receive the click what is that element this is the element i yeah so that is a sibling for your uh, input tag so that th this would receive the click uh, operation so what we will do so we'll do all the uh, operations using this only but we'll change this to our pointing to element i instead of this one we'll give this i so this will work perfectly fine so let us close it here only for i element so only for click operation let us use this right so what will happen now uh, this will find everything using your input tag and then only the user performing action only it will differ because uh, sometimes when we are automating right some of the application will have these kind of problems so if it is unnecessary to have this element 
tag i we can talk to our dev team and we can get it remove this element because this is some way it is like uh, leading to uh, qa blocking right so that's why so we can talk to dev guys and we can get it fixed so let us try now what will happen so now this will take this and it will select whether it is selected or not after that again it will find out and it will try giving it the values like let's try now type and just to click on this element yeah so you can see over here it is clicked on this right so get it by tomorrow checkbox it has clicked now the value it has printed in the console is false and true before and after right so false is coming before user action and true is coming after user action right so let's try with uh, some reusable methods uh, let's move this uh to new method right uh, let's uh, refactor or extract method uh, select checkbox so that we can pass any value and we will try we can give intercepted exception so what we will pass over here right uh, so let us let us give uh, what is the value over here so this is the display text what we have to pass so our ideal way is so whatever the display text over here if we pass this value test to select our checkbox so that is our intention so for that what we have we have done the way we have taken the xpath is like that so if you uh, pass your display text then it has to select that right based on that it has to work on now let us pass some string value this is going to be a display text so if you pass display text and it has to work on that particular web element right so that's all now what will happen uh, let us pass what is the display text over here get it by tomorrow this is the first one right uh, and then again what i wanted to do is uh, i want to select get it in two days right so this is going to be let's see how it goes you know uh, it's not working let's refactor again so here we are trying to make one resolve methods so that based on your uh, display text we can select your checkbox instead of giving your static export or some of the locators so we are trying to do that right so again what will happen it will type again it is trying to get it right so based on the input text uh, display text right, it is selected the second one right so that's how it works actually now uh, so this is how you can make any uh, dynamic uh, a, a checkbox to be selected right this is the one perfect way that you can make reuse of uh, in your web application so using uh, your display text we can select any uh, web application any uh, checkbox so mostly any web application will have the same uh, kind of uh, ui elements which is getting uh, generated uh, generated in dev tools so we can if you are making any reusable method that can be used across your application there won't be you, you won't be finding any issues right so uh, that's all for from this video guys if you love watching my video please like my video and if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys